Hi, Tony here at Views from the Man Cave. Today I've got a sneak peek at something exclusive for you. I'm very excited. Let's go take a look. Okay, so what's the exciting news? Well, um, thanks to those lovely people at Moto Legends, I have, uh, for a very short period of time, been able to get my hands on the upcoming Bell Moto 3 helmet. Uh, very excited to get this. This is apparently one of only a few, if not the only one in the country at the moment. So I'm very fortunate to get my hands on this. Okay, so before we take a closer look at the helmet, um, just a, a little bit of history. Bell, back in 1963, with the introduction of the Bell Star, uh, were the company to first bring a full face helmet to the market. In the early 70s, uh, they came to the market with the Moto 3 helmet, um, which was the first purpose built off road helmet. Up until that time, people have either been wearing kind of inappropriate full face helmets or wearing an open face helmet with uh, uh, some kind of hockey mask or a, a chin guard or some kind of home brewed chin protection um, or none at all. Um, so uh, Bell spotted uh, an opportunity and came up with what has later become the iconic styling of the Moto 3. Because of the popularity of this style of helmet and obviously the safety considerations of wearing a helmet that's 30 or 40 years old, um, a few companies built, uh, I won't call them copies, but built an homage if you like to this helmet. Uh, so a very similar styling with a very similar chin bar and the venting on the front. Uh, the likes of DMD and Premier have got helmets out there at the moment. Um, and I think Bell took a look at that and said, well, okay, well, we can do the same and put out uh, a new certified version of the old Moto 3 in exactly the same style. But it's got a thoroughly modern construction. This is made from a multi-layer composite, so it's a nice light helmet. It's DOT approved, it's CE approved, it's got a full EPS liner and a very nice toweling liner to it as well. So um, let's get it on the bench, let's give you a closer look. Okay, so one of the important things about this helmet uh, is the size of that eye port. You can get pretty much any type of goggle in that eye port that you might particularly need. Um, I had the opportunity uh, when I was in the Moto Legend store to have a rummage around in their goggle cabinet and, uh, uh, and get a look at what would fit in there. Um, I picked up, if you'd seen one of my previous reviews, I reviewed the Bolle Tactical Goggles, uh, which are a small, thin ones, which we found would fit nicely in the Nex XG100 helmet. Um, in the same kind of range, these are the protective goggles, um, the ballistic lenses, double lensed. But these, we picked these because these are pretty big. They're quite a wide facing on those. Um, and they go into that helmet with no problem at all. Uh, built well moto goggles, uh, the Barafaldi goggles, pretty much everything we could find uh, went in there with no problems whatsoever. So plenty of space in there. All round vision is great. If you're wearing this with sunglasses or with no glasses, the vision is pretty much like a, an open face. All you can see is the little peak there in the front of your vision. Um, with these goggles in particular, uh, the, the overall vision was great. Uh, I love this duck build peak. It's uh, It's got that classic look to it um, and actually when riding it I found that um, it doesn't cause any head lift or any problems what's at all it, whatsoever and it's a five snap so they've stuck with the traditional five snap piece there so if we take the peak off you can see uh, yeah it looks great without the peak as well I must admit I don't know if this will change with the full uh, production version as I say this I believe is a production version but you've got the bell uh, sticker on the front here um, on the custom 500 that's a sticker this is actually lacquered into the paintwork uh, the same as the bell sticker on the back uh, you have the nice bell moto 3 logos along the side and then in the chin bar you've got those uh, eight 
diagonal vents with the mesh behind and you probably can't see very well but there are on the inside of the chin guard you've got two big holes so plenty of airflow but as I say this is this is more like an open face helmet so airflow is never going to be a problem with this. Um, I'm going to be very careful with this because this I have to look after this helmet um, but let's flip it over and have a look on the inside. Well, uh, again, as ever with Bell, it's a double D-ring fastener. Still the easiest, quickest and most secure fastener for a helmet, in my opinion. Okay, so if you have a look at the inside of the helmet, um, you've got a really nice sort of uh, terry towel lining, uh, which goes deep into, uh, into the back of the neck there, right the way around through to the cheeks. These cheeks, uh, again, the cheek pads here, pop off um, and you've got the toweling on the underside of the straps there as well so um, very comfortable well helmet to wear you've got a nice rubber seal around the eye port and around the bottom of the helmet and the inside section there of the where the chin vent is uh, this is a, a, a kind of a soft uh, semi rigid plastic it's a pretty quiet helmet it's um it's not the most quiet helmet in the world obviously but I, I believe it's well i would say it's on par if not potentially a bit quieter than the bell bullet largely from the padding that's the in, on the inside uh, i must admit i would really like to see this terry toweling and this level of padding and the way that they've worked this front section here uh, I would like to see that in the bell bullet that's still probably one of my only gripes about the bell bullet is the way they have that cap uh, that sits on the inside and you have a ridge that runs around that section there uh, which uh, can leave a mark on your head so a bell if uh, if you're watching um, can we get a liner like this in the next iteration of the bell bullet that would be very much appreciated I think it's an absolute cracker I certainly will be putting an order in when these come through uh, in the shops. Um, if you go to the Moto Legends uh, website, so if you click on the link, and doing this back, I'm never quite sure which corner it's in, but if you click on the link, um, you can express, uh, you can't exactly pre-order, but you can give Moto Legends an indication that you're interested in one of these for when these come through from Bell later in the year. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers, and uh, this helmet uh, is a size medium. I'm a size large in a Bell. My Bell Bullet and Custom 500 are both uh, larges and fit perfectly. But I managed to squeeze it on and get out on the bike, so uh, let's just have a couple of breakaway shots of the helmet in action. Another important point about the sizing is that Bell, unlike manufacturers of some of the copycat helmets, offer four different shell sizes in this helmet so the helmet itself comes across six uh, a range of six sizes uh, there are four separate shell sizes which ensures that you get a nice slim low profile helmet whatever size you require okay well i think uh, personally bell are onto a winner with this um, it's a great looking helmet it's beautifully constructed it's got exactly the same aesthetics as the old classic Moto 3 but with modern safety standards modern uh, construction standards um, I think this will sell very well price that um, as this goes to press is 24995 so at the 250 pound mark I think that's a really good price it's undercut some of the competitors uh, arguably having looked at some of those I think this is probably a, a better and more sturdy helmet um, on the right bike this is going to look awesome um, but if you just want something if you're on a classic bike or a, a, a street scrambler or a tracker or any kind of bike really and you just want that open face feeling but with the chin protection uh, you can't go wrong with this cracking helmet great price nice range of colors I personally like this high-vis orange it's also going to be available at launch in yellow, white, grey, black and red. And there will be a Roland Sand Special Edition as well. As ever, there'll be a link to take you through to the Moto Legends site. Where you can have a look at the, uh, as much of the detail as they've got on the helmet at this stage. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.